Well, merci d'être au rendez-vous ce matin, une fois de plus pour le well, Morning Call. Thank you very much again for joining us today on this edition of the Morning Call. One soldier was killed and three others injured for the Moroccan contingent of the United Nations peacekeeping mission in the Central African Republic. That is the latest report of an attack as described by MINUSCA in the country by the pro-Christian anti-Balaka militia group in the Bangasu region southeast of the country. Uh, the southeast region has seen on the verge has been on the verge of renewed violence for several weeks and the assault on the peacekeepers had been planned for days. More continue to flee with reports of an increased number of internally displaced people in and around the capital of Bangui. Well, the attack took place while the Moroccan peacekeepers were escorting water tankers to the river to help resupply the village. The Minusca force said on Sunday, condemning the assault and sending condolences to the family, the people and the government of Morocco. The border town of Bangasu in the prefecture of Mbumu was also the scene of intercommunal violence in May when six peacekeepers were killed. Workers of the Red Cross also discovered 115 bodies the same month after after several days of militia attacks. The latest round of violence in the area represents a new escalation of violence in the country and proves of the weakness of the state in regards to the flourishing armed groups. Well, uh, joining us today uh, to give us a brief of this is Crispin Dembasa Kete, our correspondent in the capital, Bangui. Crispin, the city of Bangui has once again been at the center of clashes this past weekend. Uh, we are aware of the reasons that led to this fresh wave of violence. You have the Well, let us say, uh, first of all, that tension was already evident for several weeks in Bangasu, especially around the main camp of the displaced people around the city. In fact, some 2,000 Muslims had been welcomed and introduced by the local bishop for more than two months within the small seminary next to the cathedral. The displaced, who are nevertheless uh, guarded by the Moroccan soldiers under the MINUSCA, uh, are always under constant threat from anti-Balaka militias who refer to themselves of vigilantes. They restrict anyone from entering or leaving the camp. This tension suddenly escalated a notch uh, higher last Friday when the militia attacked a distribution site for the displaced and kidnapped a pregnant woman. In retaliation, the displaced uh, are also holding hostage six staff of a Christian charity working group in the area. They also ransacked some property of the church within the cathedral. Now, an agreement by a priest from the diocese led to the release of hostages on both sides the following day. But Saturday morning, uh, and that was Saturday morning, in the meantime, clashes broke out on the same day between the militiamen and the United Nations peacekeepers, who, according to the UN, some of the militias were killed. Now, yes, it is one of the Moroccan uh, personnel who was killed by the militiamen, and that's just about it. That's the timeline of what happened over the weekend in Bangas. Now, Crispin, is it going to be? It is now going to be three months and counting, and counting. It draws more attention with these killings against both religions. What, what is going to happen? Well, the, bang, uh, the, the Bangasu town, uh, which is in the southeast of the country, is one of the few that has stood aside from the communal violence that has been uh, rocking up uh, the Central African Republic for more than three years now and was regularly cited as a model of cohesion and social national social security. But things suddenly changed when last April armed members of the former Seleka group, who are still very active in the area around the city of Bambari, were asked by the United Nations to leave the region. Now, driven from the core, the group settled in the east and even exploited some localities near Bangasu. Uh, these uh, uh, rose tensions and in the wake of the emergence of a new group of local self-defense, it was rapidly reinforced by militiamen of the anti-Balaka, whose goal is to block uh, the way through to Seleka areas. The worst happened a month later when unfortunately self-defense groups and the militia attacked Muslim civilians and then the Moroccan peacekeepers. These attacks and subsequent attacks resulted in more than 100 deaths. Now, confronted with this situation, compromises have been made by authorities in the capital, Bangui. Yet, there is no power in the face of these renewed uh, tensions and, and violence.
euh, dans cette partie du pays. Sont-elles impuissantes pour ainsi dire euh, Que faire pour euh, remettre sur pied de véritables structures prioritatiques du pouvoir dans, en, en République centrafricaine Well, Bangui uh, authorities, the capital, were, uh, have never been uh, in a position to make any agreement since they have neither the resources nor the means to do so. It is the United Nations mission in the country, the only one with an operational conventional force that sent reinforcements on the spot after the first wave of violence. Now, in a statement issued yesterday evening, uh, the MINUSCA said it was working closely with the Central African Judicial Authorities so that the puppet of these crimes should be arrested and brought to justice. The government for this part was simply silent.